Hi guys, my name is Yasush and I'm the creator of Survival Shader Pack, a collection of pre-made Arlon material for Autodesk Maya. The goal of creating this pack is to speed up the look development process and make it easy to render nice images in a short amount of time. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to texture this fire hydrant object which has no proper UVs using one of many shaders that comes with Survival Shader Pack. So let's get started. In order to view the library in Maya, you need to download and install bonus tools from Autodesk website. Once you do that, go to bonus tools menu and click on window layout tools browser. Click on set location and locate the material library you downloaded from Gumroad. Once you locate that, click on select folder. If you still don't see the library, click include subfolders and hit update browser icons. To see the library in separated folders, you need to choose separate option for icon folders. For this particular object, I'm going to use the weathered metal shader. The weathered metal shader is a procedural shader which doesn't require a proper UV. The shader comes with three different layers, dust layer, primary material layer, and secondary material layer. The dust material layer is controlled by an ambient occlusion shader. The secondary material layer is controlled by two AI curvature textures. Let's apply the material to our 3D object and see what we get. By default, the dust color is subtle, but you can change it at any time to your desired color. To increase the edge weathered effect, go to curvature 1 and increase the radius size. To make the fire hydrant look old, you can adjust the brightness of flakes to get the desired effect. Ultimately, you can disable everything to get a plain color or animate them to make a transition effect from new to old look. Thank you guys for watching the video. The link to the fire hydrant object is in the description below. Download it and have fun rendering.